I see a lot of people who are in their careers and they just don't know how to visualize the next step. They don't know how to craft the strategy to get to the next step. So is that a, another benefit that you found in the military? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and to your point, Kathleen, what you said, you know, I, I would I would actually say you are somewhat protected while you're in the military. And so I I, I remember when I retired, waking up, I think maybe a week or two after my retirement and going, what do I do now? I, I literally I had this <laughs> this moment of panic where I realized that there was no rule book that said, you know, this is what you need to do in order to get to the next level and so on and so forth. So then I had to start to to go back to what I learned. And I, you know, I, I made in my mind, I made this this uh, this career path where I said, these are some of the, the best things or the, the steps that I'm going to take. I will always try not to take lateral positions because they do nothing for your career. I think over time that you will end up stagnating yourself in that area. Um, never stay too long. Again, this is a personal choice. But for me, if you want to go up and meaning if you want to climb to a higher position or something like that, do not do not allow yourself to stay too long in that position because you get stale and your worth is lost. So, mm -hmm. you know, you if you remember my timeline, you know, when I was at the uh, EPA, I was there for three and a half years. It's almost it's, it's almost like a military. Uh, it's time for me to move to another duty station. Right. Yeah. That's exactly what it, felt like. it felt like that. It was like, OK, where are my orders? I need orders. And as as luck would have it, um, this the position presented itself through LinkedIn. So again, for those who are not on LinkedIn, definitely go on LinkedIn, make sure you have a, an account there, make sure you keep it uh, very professional. It is not social media, <laughs> keep it professional um, so that you know if there are headhunters out there, they, they can find you. Um, don't be afraid of that, make sure you have that, that out there. Um, and as you know, you know, as you look at your, every, every, every so often you need to take a step back and evaluate where you are in your career and make mm -hmm. that those life choices. Do I want to, do I want to stay here and, you know, for and retire again at this, you know, this position, or do I want to move forward? When I was at the state, I hit that mark at six and a half years where I really had, it, there, it was a perfect storm for me. You know, I was getting to that point where I felt I had achieved um, some strides at the state um, set them up, I, in my opinion, for success. And I wanted, you know, and I wanted more for myself because I wanted to learn more and I wanted to challenge myself. And the one area that I've never been was the private sector. And even though I'm supporting the public sector, I've never been in the private sector. So it was a completely different um, role for me. And, you know, I'm right now, I'm, I'm knee deep in it. I'm in it. <laughs> and so I'm learning. I'm learning as I go and it's, it's definitely, I, it's going to be challenging, um, but I'm up for it. And you always have to be hungry. I think when you lose that hunger, then you, you, you fall into complacency and you're not putting your best foot forward. So, you know, again, reevaluate your steps in your career, make sure that it's right for you. Um, stay hunger, hungry, sorry, not hunger, uh, stay hungry. And, you know, you will always, if you're hungry, you will always find, you're always looking for opportunities to make yourself better. Now, when I say looking for opportunities, I don't mean every year to jump jobs because I don't think that's the right um, decision. Um, after a while, it's not going to look well on your resume. And, you know, folks that are, that are interviewing will, will, not, will not think that you're serious. And, you know, and that would be a strike against you. So be careful about that as well. Um, but make sure you, you leave a mark, a positive mark before you move on to your next job as well, so that you never know when your, your paths may cross again. Don't burn your bridges <laughs> because that will come back. It, it definitely will impact you, um, even though you may not think it will. It, it will at some point. So just be careful about that. 